The purpose of this demonstration is to review how Odoo can capture transactions once a delivery has shipped. For example, in some scenarios, uh, you have a e-commerce checkout or your salesperson sells something and you know you take a customer's credit card, you charge it right away, the card is authorized, the amount is captured, and the funds are then obviously cleared and deposited in your bank account. Um, right, All of that happening without any dependencies on the internal workings of your business, such as a delivery order being completed, an invoice officially being created, uh, a customer, you know, letting you know that they're satisfied and in exchange giving you permission to, you know, authorize the transaction. Um, so there's, right, those are all different dependencies and constraints that I've seen, at least in, in businesses uh, that would uh, create a need to be able to actually, right, capture a transaction uh, after the time of sale. So what we're going to look at is how to do that. So first thing we're going to do, and we're going to go through a very simple scenario, we're going to create a sale order. We're going to send it to the customer for signature and then for quote unquote payment. But keep in mind, all we're doing is taking the customer's credit card at that step and authorizing it. And once it's been authorized, then we'll see that the order has been right, confirmed and it will generate a delivery order. And we're also going to see how Odoo will not prompt me to invoice and capture that transaction until the delivery has been complete. And once the delivery has been complete, we'll see that the sale order will show up in a list of items we need to, quote unquote, capture the transaction on and also invoice. And we'll then obviously proceed with the flow to, cap to create the invoice, capture the transaction and, final and, and complete the flow. So let's take a look at how it works. Let's go to sales. Let's open up an order. Let's add a customer to that order. Let's add a product that we're going to sell the customer. And let's go ahead and we could send it by email or I can right, share the link. I can mark the quote as sent and I can just click here to see what the customer would see in that preview. Customer would see something like this when they uh, open up the online quote or go on the website and pay and they can give their signature. This is not a required part of the flow. It's, it's simply there just to show you what it looks like in the demo. And then the customer can go in and either enter a new credit card or they can select an existing credit card that's been saved. And we'll select an existing credit card that has been paid. And this is to authorize the transaction. And you'll see when I refresh this, you'll see 16 is the most recent one. Now 17 is there and it's been authorized. And because it's been authorized, you will see on the back end that Odoo has taken the sale. Keep in mind, this is a demo database, obviously. Odoo has taken the sale and it has, you can see here, the transaction SO17 with authorized.net has been authorized waiting for capture. And the order has been processed and the delivery has been created. And you can see it went from quotation to sale order and the order in the email to the customer has been sent, letting them know the order is confirmed. Now, when I go to the to invoice bucket, you'll see only sell order five is here. Sell order 17 is not here. The reason it's not here is because we need to deliver the product. And when I open up this uh, delivery, I can see at the bottom here for sell order 17, I can go ahead and validate the delivery and indicate that the stock has left the warehouse. And once it's done that, I can go back to sales and you will see here under orders to invoice that sale order 17 is now part of the list. And when I open it up, you have the option to create the invoice as well as capture transaction. So I could capture the transaction before creating the invoice if I wanted to, right? All it did is it creates a payment in Odoo. As we can see, right, that transaction is listed here. Um, it's not, it hasn't been captured yet because it's still, it's not in a done state. It's just in an authorized state. So we've, we've received permission to write, build this card if we want to. The, the card can, it will work if we build it, essentially. That's what we've checked when we authorize it. Now, at this step, I'm going to go ahead and create the invoice for the customer and then capture the transaction. So invoice is here, it's in a draft stage, right? This is where I'd wanna go through, make sure my due date, make sure my payment terms, make sure all my accounting information is correct here. And then once I confirm that, I can obviously post those entries. And at that point, I can capture transaction. Now watch here, I click enter, it's still in an authorized stage. When I click capture in real time, 
it goes to done. So the uh, funds would have been captured in that instance, and it would be up to your accounting team then to go ahead and uh, confirm that indeed it was authorized.net that paid, right? That's just to post the entries for payment. Um, and at that point, it's in a payment stage. So the next step in your accounting flow would be, in this example, would be to reconcile this invoice that is currently in the in payment stage with a line item on your bank statement in order to indicate that indeed the invoice has been paid because our bank also has the funds, which is verified upon reconciliation against the bank statement line. So that is how you can capture a transaction in Odoo. Obviously, right, this is a demo environment. So, you know, there's credit cards and fake credit cards and things like that being processed. Uh, so it's not going to be a, a completely seamless flow, but uh, you, it's at least enough to get the idea of the mechanics of how it'll all work. If you have additional questions on how to capture payments in Odoo uh, and you'd like more information, please feel free to reach out at nko at odoo.com. Thanks.